Hey folks, so I'm not really sure where my video is going to go today, but this is a worm composting bin that I kind of half-assed started, oh, back before Christmas. I don't remember exactly when. I should have probably dated it, but I haven't had the chance to get down here and check on it in a while because, well, we all got sick really bad and we had some construction done. So if you notice any overwhelming messes. We had some construction done on one of our basement walls, so everything down here is kind of chaotic. And I tried to make sure to get down here and give uh, about it's about 800 red wigglers in here. And now you'll notice that there's some soil and other stuff in here. And it was just kind of one of those let's see what happens with it experiments. But well, let me go ahead and take the lid off. So, three guesses what that is, and the first two doesn't count. Yeah, I fed them some potato peelings. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift through here and see how everybody's doing. And I'm going to sift over into this tote. And I want to say that I'll be able to record everything for you all. But I may just have to get some pictures and add them in as I go along. So... Let's see where we go with this. All right, so I got a little worried over nothing. I started digging through here, and you can see that I have some a little bit of straw. Um, I did find some little ant-looking things or, or pests, but they don't seem like they're a problem. Um, I was worried about the worms. Let me see if I can make this long story short. For those who have ever bought worms, you know, when you get them shipped to you, you know, they're they're usually kind of dehydrated and they've, they've shrank some and that seems to be not the case everybody in here is nice and fat i just oh where did he go i had a nice example of him i got him out of the long-term food which i'm going to put back in here but i'm not overly impressed where that's been going i found a couple worms in there but not what i was hoping but uh but yeah the soil's not i mean so, <clears throat> what I've got in here is I've had cardboard straw uh, and some of the different potting mixes my wife had thrown back down at me and said, here, find something to do with this. So, they got thrown in here. Oh, I thought I seen somebody move when I was looking for him. But, um, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, so... You know, that's why you see a lot of the, you know, it's like, wow, is that pine soil? Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've watched several videos and, and uh, we're just going to keep going as we are. I do have some frozen food for them. You know, uh, some stuff that we had had given to us. It's got cantaloupe and, and different good veggies in there. And we've had it in the freezer. So I'll come back to that in a second and we'll put that in here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in on this side here with some more cardboard bedding. So we'll come back to that in just a second. Whoops, sorry about that flip. All right, so went ahead, and as you're seeing in the pictures that I posted there, along with the video, uh, just went ahead and covered everybody back up. I mean, in one hand, this bin is really full of just matter, substrate, soil, whatever you want to call it. But I think I'm going to go just add a little bit of water and... And I mean, when I say little, I mean just not a whole lot. Just to moisten off the top here so it soaks down. I added some eggshells you can see at the top. I'm probably doing this all ass backwards. And we'll figure that out in the long run. But 
I went ahead and, as you've seen, added some fast food over here with the long-term food. And I'm just going to let these guys do their thing for a while. I'm not going to worry about them as much as I had. Um, I guess I'll come back and kind of check on it in a couple of weeks. Make sure we don't have any new pests that we're not supposed to have. And check the, the kind of the odor of it. Uh, it smells really good. I've seen where people in videos talked about the earthy smell. And well, I mean, other than the fact that, yeah, I mean, I have potting soil in here. Duh, it smells like earth. But, you know, there's no funky odors, nothing from the food. I've got them buried down good. Um, actually, when I had them up top looking and expecting them, you know, they were fine. So, yeah, we'll come back, come back in a few weeks and see where we're at on this. I mean, this, in theory, would just take forever for these guys to work through this at all. So, um, I am working on a breeding bin upstairs because that one needed to be a little bit more temperature controlled. And uh, we'll see about going through there and see what that looks like. And maybe I can bring some of those new guys down here for this to get these guys some more help. I really didn't take time to look for the cocoons like I said I was going to. I did see a few, so I know they're at least happy enough to be breeding. Um, the basement down here, it stays below or above freezing at all times. But if we get really cold weather, it does get down to the, the 40s. So... I mean, that's to be kind of expected where worms are going to be like, no, I'm not doing squat, you know, and who can blame them? I don't want to do anything at 40 degrees or lower. So anyway, enough babbling. I'll catch up with you all later. Uh, like I said, anybody's got any comments, uh, uh, just let us know. And I promise we'll get better at these videos as, as time goes along. Um, I've got to find a way to mount the camera. And because uh, I like to work in a couple different areas, depending on my mood of the day. So we'll get that figured out and I'll try to stop saying and so much. Hopefully everyone's taken care. Bye bye.